Hi, it's Diane at Capadia Designs, and since today's simple card truly was simple, I don't really need to make a video to show you how to put it together. I thought I'd go ahead and just make a video showing you how I designed it in Design Studio. Whenever I make a shaped card, I start out with a guideline rectangle. In this case, I want to make a vertical A2 card. So I used a, a shape from George, a square, and just adapted it to be 8.5 wide, 5.5 tall, and centered it on my page here. I'm going to copy that and just bring it up to this first page where I'm actually going to design the card. I want to use this scalloped shape from um, the Easter cartridge and I know if I enter it at five and a half it's going to be too big because it's actually designed to be a shadow and that's going to be a shadow for a five and a half inch egg. But there's my shape and I want to make it um, five and a half tall so I'll just go up into shape properties and put 5.5 and then I want it to be slightly wider than 4.25, let's say 4.3 4 and enter and then I just want to align it here so that um, the top is touching the top. If we zoom in just a tiny bit and hold down ALT I can see if I've got this just about the right spot and just the right spot there. Uh, maybe it's a tiny bit over. Let's use this handle here and just pull it back a tiny bit. Okay. So now it's touching at the line, and that's good. If I go back to Fit View, you can now see I'm going to select the shape, check Weld, and then copy and paste it, because I need a second shape to make the back of my card. I can't just slide that over because this is not symmetrical. I have to flip it, and you can see that it's not symmetrical because that flip shape turned out um, odd looking. I'll just bring it over here and once again I know already that that value, I want that to start at 1.75 so I'll just make sure I have that proper value there. If I zoom in here you can see that um, there is enough of an overlap but I want to fill in that gap too. I want to make sure that there's a, a, a bigger amount of connection between the two pieces. In order to do that I just grabbed another little egg shape um, and made it about an inch tall. I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller and turn it and then I'll just settle it into that position there so that it's covering up that gap. I want to make sure I check weld on there and then before I preview I'm going to go ahead and take away the rectangle from this page. I don't need it anymore. It was just sort of a crutch. Now when I preview watch what happens. I have a problem here with my weld. It has to do with the order in which things were added to your uh, card. So all you want to do is make sure that the things in the middle, um, you, you kind of work from the middle out. And this was added later, so it's messed up the weld. So we're just going to go ahead and take one of the sides, copy, delete, and paste. And then when I preview again, you'll see that that fix up my welding problem. On this blank preview page, you can see that I've got a nice card. So now I'm back at Fit View, and I want to make my layer option. I'm going to go up to one of the decorative shapes here. Um, came in at one inch because I had been fooling around with that. So I think what I'm going to do is just play with the size a little bit, see if I can get a height that looks pretty good to me and a width that looks pretty good to me. I want to make it um, just a little scallopy edge. So let's see, I know in my finish file it's 3.5 and I believe my top, my height number is 4.66. So let's just check that out and uh, just slide that in so it's nicely centered and we'll take a preview of that. Oh, I had the preview turned off. We'll preview that. That preview looks pretty good to me. So now I know when I go to add my um, solid shape and my other shape, in both cases, um, I'm just going to use those same numbers. So I'm going to add this and make it uh, 3.5 and 4.66 and enter and then I'll just put that into position here and do one more preview. I do the same thing when I add the layer option for the other fancy shape and when I cut the cards I'd probably just put the piece of cardstock centered here so I don't have to fiddle around with moving three pieces but the eggs I can move anywhere around on my mat to make the cuts. I hope that helped and I look forward to seeing you over on my blog where I'll explain a little bit more about the actual file that I created and show you how I conserved paper when I did that. Thanks for watching.